the Zenfone 5Z. It just came out and I know a lot of you guys are pretty excited about it. After all, it's got some amazing specs going on there, right? Well, I've been spending a few days with it as my primary and I've been liking it a lot. So here are five reasons why I'm pretty sure you will do. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and we don't have a giveaway running right now, but when you're watching it, if you do, and if we do end up having one, there'll be a card here. But the bell icon is still there, right down below, click on it, get on our notification squad. So, Almost every flagship out there right now has a more or less similar glass sandwich design with curvy flowing edges and a metal frame. Asus though has added a nice little touch of their own with these concentric circles to the back. They've been doing this as a stylistic choice on their Zenfone lineup for a few generations now and I'm glad to see it make a comeback in this generation of the series as well. Of course, I can't finish the design part without talking a bit about the in-hand feel, right? Yes, glass means the phone is kinda slippery and it's a huge fingerprint magnet. But the fact that despite boasting a 6.2 inch display, this phone still remains manageable with one hand. Now that's what impressed me the most about the 5Z when it came to the build and design aspect of things. Now, one of the ways that Asus has managed to cram in that 6.2 inch display in there was by minimizing the bezels. Well, the other thing they did was of course the notch that you see up top. Now, if you are a notch hater, ASUS does provide you with an added option to hide this notch so that you don't ever have to see it again. Yes, it's not an AMOLED panel, it's an IPS LCD panel, so it's not quite as stealthily hidden, but it is still there if you wanna do it. And of course, the fact that ASUS has managed to wrap a gorgeous Full HD Plus display around that notch makes things that much better. From media viewing to daily social media surfing, this is a really great IPS LCD panel with excellent viewing angles and really great color reproduction. Even under direct sunlight, the screen gets pretty bright. Overall, it's been pretty much a joy to use. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time shooting stuff outdoors in Bali and I've had no issues seeing the display. Oh, another factor for you media lovers out there, the in-call speaker on the 5Z also doubles as a secondary speaker, meaning you get stereo speakers and combined with AI ringtone, this phone does get really loud. Now, since we have already come to the topic of AI, kind of touched upon it right there. Let's check out the hardware we have on board. Inside, we've got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chip with up to 8 gigs of RAM. Now, this is a top of the line flagship chip from Qualcomm. Uh, so you can expect some beastly performance from the 5Z. We've been seeing it on a lot of flagships, right? In our time with the 5Z, it's been incredibly fast. Everything from opening up apps to moving within the UI was blazing fast. Even when we threw intensive apps or games at it, the Zenfone 5Z handled it all without breaking a sweat. Now, if you need space to store all those graphically demanding games, right? Well, Asus has you covered with a base variant of the 5Z starting from 64 gigs and it goes up all the way to 256 gigs. And if you still think you need more storage, well, there is support for microSD as well. Now, this is something we don't see from the competition OnePlus Xiaomi. They don't provide support for microSD. Now, this is something that Asus does well. Of course, the start of the show is the hexagonal DSP inside the 845 chip, the hardware that powers all these cool AI features that the Zenfone 5Z boasts of. Now one of those things, AI ringtone, now that's something we touched upon. Let's now take a look at some of the other AI capabilities. The one that really caught my eye was the AI powered app suggestion. Now within a couple of days of me starting to use this phone, I could feel the phone had already intelligently began to adapt itself to my habits and so basically uh, it started to suggest me apps based on my preferences. So what you see over here, those are the apps that I most commonly keep reaching out to depending on, it's depending on my habits that it started to suggest that. We also have AI charging to boost your battery's health and AI boost to give performance an extra edge. Of course, since it's 2018, we also have an AI powered face unlock on the 5Z. Now, how can we talk about AI without mentioning the cameras? To the back of the Zenfone 5Z, we have so the Sony flagship IMX363 12 megapixel dual pixel 1 by 2.55 inch sensor with 1.4 micron size pixels, as well as four axis OIS. The secondary unit, well, this is one where ACES surprised me. Well, okay, not. 
because they've done it in the past too. Instead of going with a monochrome or telephoto setup, the 5C has a wide angle camera with a 120 degree field of view. We will have a lot more to say on these cameras along with their AI functionality in our full review. And uh, oh yeah, don't forget the 8 megapixel selfie snapper. More on that and Zenimoji too in the upcoming videos. For now, let us actually wrap this one up with the pricing. At the time of shooting this video, we have no official pricing from ASUS. But by the time this video goes live, we should have confirmation so you can check out the description for that. But Ash, how can the price be a reason to buy if you don't even know what the price is? Good question. Well, global pricing has been super competitive. This phone's price cheaper than the OnePlus 6 in a lot of markets. And since ASUS has been super competitive in India recently, it's a safe bet to expect this to launch between 29 to 31, 32,000 rupees, which would make it one of the cheapest 845 phones out there. And if that's not an achievement enough, we also have a pair of interesting cameras, dual speakers, a suite of AI functionality baked in, all of which makes the 5Z definitely worth checking out. At least that's what I think. Now it is time for you guys to tell me what is it that you think? Would you pick this one up over a OnePlus 6 or a Honor 10? Or are you guys holding out for the Mi 8? Let us know in the comments down below. Oh, if you know anyone who might be shopping around for a phone in the 30, 35K price segment, then do share this video with them. Who knows, it might help them make their mind up. Now, if you have watched this far, you've obviously made up your mind. So what do you think about this video? Well, if you did think it was blah, you know what you do. But if you did like it, drop us a giant like, hit subscribe and click on that bell icon to get notified every time we upload a new video here on C4E Tech. And now, I must bid you adieu. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.